Hello, we're going to do a read for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is gonna, gonna be about you and your person that you're thinking about, Capricorn. Thank you for showing up to my channel. I appreciate you being here. I do get personal reads. They start as low as $33 for a 15 minute recorded read. I will have, if you schedule one, I'll have it to you by Tuesday, no later. Because I'm going out of town on Wednesday. Trying to catch up on some mini readings before I go. Calling in spirit to get a clear guided message for Capricorn and their person. What's going on? What's the, what does spirit want to say about all this? Five of cups. Three of wands. Hierophant. High priest is almost flung out, but we got victory. In the midst of grief and sorrow, there's something coming your way. There's a lot of devotion and success coming your way, Capricorn. But there is a purge. There is a purge. Um, maybe a mental purge, because it's in the mental space. But your heart knows this, that what is yours is coming towards you. And you're moving into more devotion to your heart space. You might be moving on from a marriage or into a marriage, but letting go of something from the past or actually just purging some sort of grief or shame. Might have something to do with this relationship. It might have something to do with the next relationship. Or it might just have something within you that needs to purge. And like kind of knowing that there's better better things coming your way. And basically spirits like success. It's interesting to get spirits perspective first. Because spirit seems to be like very interestingly positive. More than the people in the relationships are at times. All right, what does your person think of you? They don't know what to think. They think of you as extremely mysterious. They might think of you as literally a high priestess, a healer, somebody very spiritual. This is a divine couple. They feel like they belong with you in the realms of spirit. They have an awareness that th there's magic between the two of you. They want to manifest you regardless. Like they're this person... Um, might be an air sign. This person might communicate how they feel and it might be hard to tell how this person feels because sometimes they don't work exactly like they don't. They have passion, they have mystery. I feel like in general, they're gonna communicate how they feel. There is a new beginning. There's an inspired beginning with you and this person or a spark, a re-spark if you guys are already in a relationship. I don't really see this King of Swords as stoic as much as just communicative, clear communications going on here of how they feel, especially because maybe they don't quite know what's going on. They want to offer, they want to offer you something. They want an equal partnership with you. They want balance, fairness, harmony, strength. This person only has good intentions when it comes to you. I think that's what it looks like. Um, they also have a willingness to like get over hurdles from their past or insecurities or anything that you know has blocked their heart from moving forward. They're willing to move beyond that to manifest this relationship. For some of you, they think that you're a healer or you heal them. They feel like there's a lot of healing in this relationship, I feel. It seems like they feel called to be with you. How do you, what do you think about this person? You kind of know that this is your person for some of you. You know, and you're just waiting for when things will come together for you or when that balance will come. You might be confused on how you feel emotionally or you might have a lot of options right now, but there's just maybe this one person.
You're going to be with this person. This could be a person that stabbed you in the back. Or there's somebody that stabs you in the back and there's somebody around the corner that's going to be with you. You're overcoming... What is... Maybe somebody that you were married to stabbed you in the back. Maybe you're married to this person. It's over. The backstabbing's over. Um, you're letting go of the grief. You're letting go of the past. You're letting go of the confusion. Um, I really do feel like this is a divine counterpart that wants to offer you love, whether you've been with them or not. This person has a lot of love for you. Tell me more about this person. It might be somebody that you lost in the past or that you were in separation with. Might be a twin flame with the four of wands, but you see them as home. They see you as home. They truly want balance and harmony with you. And they're really willing to climb that mountain. I mean, it's as if this person's like kind of a wounded warrior, maybe because of you, maybe because they have personal abandonment wounds that show up in relationships. But this person has a lot of passion, a lot of fire. They want they want equal give and take with you. They want balance and they want fairness big time. This person truly desires like a reconciliation with you or balance with you or clear communication. They see you as the one. They have a lot of love for you. They possibly want to marry you or they want to make things right or they want things to be right between the two of you. That's coming out pretty strong right now, Capricorn. How do you feel about that? You're up for it. You're up for a new beginning with this person. You might be very attracted to them anyway, and you feel inspired to continue, but there is a part of you where maybe you have a lot of options. It's hard to just choose this one right now, or maybe it's confusing you, or maybe there's a lot going on in work, or maybe literally it's just hard to open up your heart, the heart space, okay? Why is it hard for you to open up your heart? Causes anxiety and worry. What's that about? Why is that happening? Some of you guys worry about money. Some of you guys, maybe you're married and there's somebody else. Maybe they're married. I don't... It affects your sense of security to open up your heart. But you have passion to move forward with this person you do want balance. Some of you want a reconciliation. You don't want it to be over. And this person wants to do what it takes to make things right with you, Capricorn. What does spirit want to tell you? Advice from spirit for Capricorn in regards to maybe these fears. There's a reconciliation for you and another person. Everything is emptiness. Everything else is accidental. Emptiness brings peace to your loving. Everything else, disease in this world of trickery. Emptiness is what your soul wants. It's a dark night. Some of you guys were in separation with this person. It caused a dark night. Or you guys were in a dark night before. And you want to reconcile with your soul. The dark nights, the struggle, and the release of the ego. What the ego wants, the desires of the ego, the dreams, the expectations, the hurts, the pains, the traumas that we've been holding on to. It's a purging. It's a sitting in that sickness to reconcile with the true self. This could be a twin flame dynamic where this happened between the two of you, where you're releasing self-inflicted bondage. Where you've forgotten the one who doesn't care about ownership, who doesn't try to turn profit from every human exchange, who doesn't put so much emphasis on what you have, what you don't have, on expectations, on the world's exchange, right? The world's exchange, moving into the, heaven, the heavenly realms exchange of love, of freedom, of emptiness, of truth. There's been a purge. I feel like this relationship has catalyzed that purge. This person only wants to make things balanced between the two of you. 
And you have a hesitation to open up your heart out of fear of coming back into these energies. But you did do the purge. And it is time to move into the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. There's no salvation for the soul but to fall in love. Only lovers can escape out of these two worlds. It's through the love between the two of you and the love of your soul to give you this projection of a person to inflict and catalyze the awareness that you are the love that you are seeking and that you can let go of seeking it externally from you and let go of the things that you've been holding on to that causes disease and trickery, moving into truth and clarity and falling in love with the love that you already are through the catalyzation of this lover showing itself to you but only can unify with you when you aren't in these energies of the devil damn dude this is freaking deep very little grows on jagged rock be ground be crumbled so wildflowers will come up where you are this has been a beating a softening of your cracking open to move into like fertile uh, ground um, to grow things naturally fed by the light of the divine okay enough of this talk this is crazy so it's releasing superficiality and attachments that you once had with this person and allowing yourself to attach to the root of that which is the root within you which is god all right capricorn great <laughs> capricorn what the heck Stepping out of your comfort zone and moving towards your true north. Moving to who you really are. It might be very uncomfortable to even con uh, consider reconciling with a person that caused so much discomfort for you. But you are loved and your loved ones are safe on the deepest level. There's so much love for you, guiding you to your true north. And there's no reason, there's no comfort zone needed. Because there's only love. And your experience of disease and trickery is, is the illusion that there wasn't love there all along. It may be projected onto this person. Expect powerful change coming your way. More clarity. More truth. More change and surrendering to the divine. This is, a, this is a Capricorn who's had to surrender. This is a Capricorn. Many of you in a catalyzed relationship, catalyzed a dark night of the soul moving you into the bigger picture, moving into your destiny, moving you into achieving your goal, achieving what you came here to do, and a new romantic cycle begins. Luck is on your side. A lot of balance, a lot of luck, a lot of prosperity. Okay? Um, this person has this energy of licking their wounds to continue with you. They might mirror you where when you're ready to lick your wounds to continue with this process of walking, surrendering, and walking towards your true north, leaving your comfort zone, and trusting in, uh, experiencing and allowing yourself, because there's powerful change. There's powerful change, and the only way for powerful change to occur is through stepping out of your comfort zone, surrendering, but luck is on the side. Look at the bigger picture. Luck is on your side, not on the side. You're very close to achieving your goals. Everyone's safe. Everyone's loved. There's a lot of love around you. Love is like stirring things up, shaking things up. And there's a fear of going through what you went through in the past. But what you went through in the past is what is bringing you to this beautiful new romantic cycle. This beautiful new change. This this uh, achieving your goal energy. What does this person want to say to you, Capricorn? Be mindful of negative and toxic behavior. Shadow work might be necessary. There's a lot of releasing, a lot of releasing of negative behaviors, possible addictions, possible attachments from you or from them or between the two of you really showing up. It doesn't feel good as it's moving out. It might be causing pain. This person does miss you. 
if you guys are not together, the distance or some kind of distance between the two of you is making them miss you more and they're ready to talk. They want to come in. They do want to reconcile. They want to make things right. This is a strong soul connection between the two of you. I'm going to do some star seed cards just because this is like seems a very spiritual connection. Forge, don't follow, pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. So moving into being the leader that you wish you had, maybe even a guide. This is about coming in and singing your song, learning your song. If there wasn't the breakdown, you wouldn't know what this is. And wouldn't it have been nice to have, maybe you had a guide, maybe you didn't. Maybe you were on your own going through this dark night, wondering what the hell's going on, what's going on. Maybe you can be the guide that guides people through these dark, deep waters to their true north, to their soul, deep diving to their song, helping people find their song, because this is what has happened to you. You've tapped into the wisdom of the elders. You've tapped into the wisdom of the, of, of your own song, of the leader within, of your own path. No longer repeating karmic cycles and trauma patterns from the past. Forging ahead. The seas of Mantica, Mant Mantak Mantaka. Seeing potential, bringing unconscious to light. So yeah, there's a, there's a trepidation of this, you know, the darkness, but it is going, everything's coming, coming up to be purged, coming up to be seen, coming up to be expressed, moving out to move into the clarity of your, your, your song. It's aligning with divine will and what that is and what the will has for you and you expressing that, maybe even leading others in that. Go back to the love cards and see what I get from it because it just seems like this is about your spiritual ascension. So it's about forgiving and learning and releasing and healing the past to experience more love, more of who you are. A lot of chemistry, attraction. This is really very twin flame. And you're moving into a higher level of commitment. Maybe with this person learning how to trust, learning how to trust the divine, learning how to truly express love, express yourself, express who you are, which is love, and moving into optimism instead of negativity. For some of you, you will marry this person, okay? Moving out of a codependent situation and moving in and letting go of control issues and reconciling. This might be soon for many of you. This might be coming in really soon for many of you. Capricorn. Um, let's do astrolo this astrology cards, see what we get for that. Messages for Capricorn. Major transformation going on in your life here. A lot of shadow work, a lot of healing from the past, okay? I can see, I can really see, you've done some serious deep diving into the, sh the land of the shadows, into the teachings of the ancestors, Transforming what you thought you were into what your soul is. Healing the illusion of the past, past lives. Your soul is, is, is a powerful soul that has provoked your destination. And your unique truth and your abundance. Luck is on your side. You're expanding for a lot of you. Um, your body is actually having like, like activation, a lot of light moving through the body. Um, 11th house is a house of, for some of you, I feel like it, it could be a house of friends or social groups, even like spiritual groups. You might be a leader of that is what I'm getting. But it's time to pick up the gems that you found in the darkness and to shine them, to revel in the beauty that you have found in this transformation. 
This has been a transformation that you have not been able to escape in this lifetime. Your soul has chosen this for you. Um, through manifesting a counterpart that might be catalyzed this, but this is your person, if that's what you want. But this is more about your own expansion, your own soul's growth, seeing your blind spots and evolving beyond that. But this is coming back to your roots, your ancestral line. And if like you can establish that with this person. So I'm going to leave it at that. That's pretty, pretty crazy. Let me know if that resonates. If you'd like a personal read, my information is down below in the description box. Thank you so much for your time. Um, sending you a lot of love and prosperity and all that good stuff, Capricorn. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to support my channel. Take care.